Hello, my name is Charles Cozell, and I will be telling you the story of ancient Mesopotamian music. Ancient Mesopotamia was a region filled with diverse groups and cultures, centered around city-states and later the first empires. Trade, war, and politics melted these groups together over time, and one of the persisting traditions of these groups of people was that of music. Music in ancient Mesopotamia is something we know little about, and what we do know about the subject comes from some excavations from Sumerian Ur and Nineveh from the time of the Assyrians, and later excavations in Syria. To understand music of the period, one must understand what instruments they had, and how did they play this music? We have from Ur some lyres and harps that they would play from this region. The harps tended to be more ornate and symbol of the bull represented some deities, and usually these instruments were reserved for celebration, ritual, and for the king. Harps, lyres, and drums, and woodwind instruments, such as flutes, were recovered from various regions, suggesting a cultural similarity in the groups of the region, as many of them played the same instruments and used them in the same ways. The instruments were very much the same in the region, and the musician, as a person and as a job, was also very similar. Many musicians would either specialize in one instrument, or sometimes many, and would play them in various roles. Musicians in ancient Mesopotamia were almost exclusively male. It was a job that was seen as a full-time job with little pay, but required a lot of dedication. Most musicians would play for religious ceremonies or cultural celebrations, and it is unknown whether everyday people in Mesopotamia had access to music in the way we do today. Kings and other high officials in the various cultures of the regions had court musicians that would play for the king and entertain them, which was an honor job for any musician of the time. We know of musicians' daily lives from recorded tablets and reliefs from Nineveh and Ur that depict musicians playing in ceremonies for the king. Some of the various things you can see are reliefs, such as this in the video, that depict harps and other lyre-type and flute instruments playing and marching in ceremonies. A good question to ask, also ask when dealing with music and history is, how did these groups write down this music? It can be seen from various sources that many hymns and music notation is written on tablets recovered from Ur, and many depict in cuneiform hymns and song should be played. They show lyrics of hymns to be sung for specific gods or describe arrangements for instruments and how songs were arranged. It's hard to determine what these sound like, but the, through modern recreations, we can listen to songs. In the background, you can hear a Hurrian hymn originating from Syria around 1400 BC, which you can listen to now. Music notation is the most important thing recovered from this time because it indicates an understanding of modern musical understanding, such as scale intervals, various music keys, and even a diatonic system of music notation. It is from the instruments they use that we see the impact of ancient Mesopotamia. Famous people who were influenced by these early musicians included Pythagoras and Johannes Kepler, who studied vibration, intervals, and in sound, and the ratios involved with them. Ancient Mesopotamians had knowledge of these intervals and used them to write their own music and form instruments such as the harp and lyre. They even had different musical keys, even one that is almost exactly the same to the modern version of the key of C, which is located third from the bottom on your screen now. Even one that which is supposed to be the most common modern keys of Western music, the key of C, was found in this period and shows the intelligence of the people of the day. Without the instruments and efforts of the people of Mesopotamia, it's safe to say that the stories we tell with music wouldn't have existed.